all right whenever i hear this i get a little bit itchy um i start hearing stuff about new laws and then i start reading about them and then it starts to get me a little angry and this one has definitely got me there what's happening right now in california is they have a new law that just was signed into law by gavin newsom and what it is is anything small engine gas powered in 2024 as it pertains to equipment uh, generators pressure washers chainsaws I just got this one out for example it's my little battery powered thing paint sprayers if a lot of jobs you have very rural areas like you're working on a fence way out in the middle of nowhere in a house or a building like Amazon where you're just so far away from power you have to use a gas sprayer or the size of the rig is too much for electric power and it's not like we don't already have laws for this stuff like all of our this tractor is 29 and a half horsepower so it's legal diesel if it was over 50 horsepower and it was diesel it's outlawed trucks like this diesel earlier than 2010 they're already outlawed all your lawn equipment blowers leaf blowers all that stuff has to be four stroke they've already got that law they did that for about four or five years ago they mandated that so everything we got here is pretty clean like this generator's four stroke it doesn't put out a lot of emissions but in 2024 no good anything that is not zero emissions that is that is that basically takes care of all gas powered generators all gas powered stuff will be illegal in 2024. You know, I want you to tell me how a gardener who's cutting a lawn that's, you know, or a, a golf course or something really big where they have huge lawns is gonna do that with a little battery powered mower. Or a guy's gonna pressure wash a house to paint it with this little electric thing. I use that to wash my cars, that's about it. They have these new fancy smanchy uh, generators that don't have an engine on them. They're just a big battery pack. How long is that going to run for? You know, if we lost electricity, which that's probably going to happen when you have everything electric, right? I can store enough in these two gas cans to run that generator for a week. Two weeks even, probably. So at least I'd have food, right? They also signed a new law, I for, don't forget the date, so if I'm not right on it, I think it's 2030 or 35 or something like that. All new cars, electric only. 2045, we're gonna have all electric big trucks too. So a truck like this, that fixes the power, runs on electric power. Makes all the sense in the world, right? So let's paint a little picture here, just for fun. Let's say that the terrorists come over here, which they'll never do this, right? They'd never do this. And they go out, they go to all the switching stations, or a bunch of the switching stations in California, and they blow them all up, right? Let's just say it happens. And we got rid of all of our gas stations and gas cars. And if you, even if you don't have gas, to, even if you didn't get rid of all of them, let's say they've diminished them down to almost nothing, okay? And all we got is this to fix power and it's around electric power I want to they think about that for a second we have no generators because everybody got rid of them because they couldn't use them all your big transport trucks run electric power how long do you think it'd be before you run out of food so unlike some guys I am into clean energy those are my solar panels I have more on the roof so I am for clean energy if I as much as we can without going too far into it and without making life impossible. But when it all comes down to it, I really feel like this is an attack on blue collar workers and con construction people. These laws are all made by people who have never done anything in construction trade ever. And most of them have never turned one of these a wrench, right? Morons like Gavin Newsom have only made their money 
using one of these. Or doing this. All I gotta tell you guys is just, just gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep happening as long as we have guys like this running things. And the only way out of this is one way, and I know you're just gonna offend some people, but listen, it, we have to change things. We can't keep voting for these Democrats. They keep doing stuff like this. They have no idea what it's like to be a blue collar worker. They have no idea. They probably don't even know how to start one of these things. They don't know anything about anything about construction, Gavin Newsom doesn't know anything about what it's like to commute back and forth to work. He hops in his helicopter and goes back and forth to work. And that's really green, isn't it? Jerry Brown, our last Democrat, he did the same thing. Flew his helicopter every day to work. Sat there and said, oh, you guys need to get in electric cars. And you might say, well, it's not the whole party. And you know what? I can understand why you might think that. Because... But I want to tell you, if you if you didn't live in California, all the time the recall election was going on, they had Barack Obama on TV saying that we need to keep Gavin Newsom here. They had Bernie Sanders. They had every big politician talking good about how good this guy is. So listen, don't think they're not in on it. They are. They know what's going on. And you might say to yourself, that's not going to happen all over. Well, let me tell you something. California always is a, is a place where everything starts. And then it ends up going to like Colorado, New York. And then all of a sudden, it's all over the United States. So as long as we have guys like this running the country, that's what we're going to have. We're going to have our country put at risk. Can you imagine if we had all electric everything all over the United States and the terrorists came in? Oh no, they, they wouldn't do that, right? They wouldn't do that. They're too nice. They wouldn't do that. They would, you know, and, and started knocking out switching stations and we had no power. We had no backup generators. We had nothing. Just think what that would be like. I want you to think about that because that is probably where we're heading if we keep going the same direction we are. And the only way to stop this is to change your ballot, vote for the Republicans. Get those guys out of office. Because it's going to happen. It will happen. It's, it's already happening. So, you know what? You know, you might be offended. You might say, well, I'm not against, you know, I'm not with the abortion laws of the de uh, Republicans and all that stuff. You know, hey, I found that those people will listen to us if we, if we email them. The Democrats never listen. Because... You know, I'll tell you why. You might say, hey, they're for green energy. They're for all this good stuff and everything else. You know what they're for? They're for their own pocketbook. Because if they can get a bill approved for a mandate, let me give an example. If they can mandate all the houses to have solar panels, they can go to that solar pan company and say, listen, where's my check? They can go to a fire sprinkler company because fire sprinklers are mandated on every new home in California. And they can say, where's my check? I've heard people tell me that the Republicans do the same thing. You know what? I've never seen it. I've never seen a back end on their bills. But I've seen it on every single Democratic bill. It has a back end for something that they're trying to get done. Some legal money scam that they have on the back end of every bill... Just start looking around. You'll find it. And I'll tell you, I'm not a right-wing Republican. But I look at the two sides. And I see one that's totally, fully corrupt. And doing the wrong thing every time. And I see somebody who's at least trying to get it right. They make a lot of mistakes. I'm going to say the Republicans make a few mistakes. But they're, when I look at the two, it's just a better bet. It's just like, you know, you can bet on anything when the odds are better. You bet on that side, and that's why I do it. But anyway, I just thought I'd put this out there. If you guys are not interested in it, that's all right. You can vote however you want. But expect new stuff like that. It's coming everywhere. It's going to happen. Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.